Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can store a mask permanently as an alpha channel, allowing you to edit it later or even load it into another image. You can create an alpha channel in the channels panel and then apply a mask to it, or you can save a selection that you have made as an alpha channel that will then appear in the channels panel. If you want to create an alpha channel and then use your painting or editing tools to draw the mask in it, you can start by clicking the new channel button from the channels panel right down here at the bottom. Of course you could double click the name if you want to change the name as well. You can also click the eye icon next to the color channels or a composite channel. To view the alpha channel as a rubolith overlay that you can then edit and save as if it were a quick mask. Now, however, unlike the quick mask, it is saved with the image. But you could go in, for example, and use your painting tools just like we did before to edit it however you like. just like that. Now we can also delete that alpha channel pretty easily. Of course it's, we have it selected here we can click the trash icon and say yes. You can also create an alpha channel from a selection you've made in an image. You start by using your selection tools to create the selection in the image that you want to retain as an alpha channel mask. So we'll go ahead for example and I think we'll select our quick selection tool and we'll click and drag and we'll add to our selection make sure we pick up our eyes here and let's say we want to select the background we will go to select and then inverse now after we've done that then you just click the save selection as channel button at the bottom of the channels panel you'll see the buttons down here save selection as channel give that a click and we have our new alpha channel that will appear right here. Now of course again you can double click to change the name if you like. You can also make future selections and then subtract or add to them from the alpha channel mask that you've already created. So to do this you make another selection in the image that you want to add or remove from the original mask saved as an alpha channel. So we would go back up to our selection for example and we would select another part for example here of our image then select select and save selection from the menu bar to launch the save selection dialog box that we see here here you can select into which open document you want to save the channel selection we have our document right here now if you want to save it into a pre-existing selection, choose its name from the channel drop-down, Alpha 1. And in that case, you then have chosen how the selection that you made should interact with the current selection. It can replace, add, subtract, or intersect the mask in the Alpha channel using the operations down here. So we could add to channel, for example and then we can click OK and we'll see what that's done to our selection and our alpha channel down here. Now when you want to use your saved alpha channel to make a selection in the image file you have to load the selection from the mask in the alpha channel. You can easily do this by holding down the control key and then selecting on the saved alpha channel that you want to load. So for example we'll go ahead and close that selection. If I wanted to load that I can just click control, click on the alpha channel and my selection will be made. Now you could also select select and then load selection from the menu bar to launch the load selection dialog box where you could select the document and the channel there and then click OK as well. So when you're ready to load that selection, then in that box you would just click OK. That would do the same thing. 
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.